What's up everyone? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit and color correct an architectural photo in Lightroom. Luckily, there's just a few settings in Lightroom that make this super easy. We post new videos and resources every week, so make sure you hit subscribe and follow us on social media using the links in the description. Also visit newlayer.com and sign up for the email list to get special offers that are for subscribers only. Let's get started. Here's the before image and here's the after, and I'm going to show you the steps I took to straighten out and color correct this photo. New Layer members can download this photo in the project files at newlayer.com, but you can apply these methods to your own photos as well. So we'll go back to the before photo and hide these thumbnails so we get a better look at our picture. And the first thing that I'm going to do is adjust the exposure to make the room nice and bright. So I'm going to drag my exposure slider to the right to about plus one. Next, we'll adjust the color temperature to get the lights as white as possible. Sometimes you want a warm orange glow to your lights, but in this case, we want to portray this room as very bright, clean, and white. So I'm going to come up and start dragging my temperature slider to the left. So somewhere around 2600 is pretty good. And this image has a lot of magenta tint to it, so I'm going to drag the tint slider to the left to about 11. Next, I'm going to bring the highlights down so the lights don't look quite as blown out. So I'm going to hit the highlight slider and drag that left to about negative 30. And then I'm going to brighten up the shadows to make the lighting appear more even throughout the image. So I'll drag the shadow slider to the right to about plus 65 or so. To brighten up the entire image and add some contrast, I'm going to come to the white slider and drag that to the right. And I'm going to take this pretty far because I want this image to really look bright. So somewhere around 80. And then I'm going to take the blacks down to add some contrast. So about negative 30 works. Next, I want to give it some sharpness and dimension. So I'm going to come down and increase the texture slider to about 25. And also increase the clarity. And 35 is pretty good there. Now, a little trick that I sometimes use is to use the dehaze slider to make the overall color of an image more homogeneous. So if I drag the dehaze slider to the left, it adds haze. And so if I just do that a little bit, say negative 10 or so, it will add a nice whitewash over the entire photo that makes it look more consistent without making it look foggy. Now, I want to desaturate the image but still retain the little pops of color in the product bottles. So I'm going to use the vibrance and the saturation sliders. Now, the vibrance will increase the saturation of colors that are already pretty saturated and the saturation slider is more of a global saturation change. So what we can do is increase the vibrance. So I'll set that to about 50, and that will make colors that are already pretty colorful even brighter. And then I'm gonna take the saturation way down to about negative 60, and that will desaturate colors that didn't have a lot of color to begin with. So they kind of offset, but this method allows you to take color out of things that are kind of cream or tan or white. Now I see a decent amount of purple or magenta cast in some of the shadows. So I'm gonna go into my HSL panel and under saturation, I'll come down to purple and I'll drag that down to about negative 40 and do the same with the magenta. So that will desaturate just those colors from our image a little bit. Next, I'm gonna to come to the effects panel and the lens on your camera naturally adds a small amount of vignetting. So this acts to brighten up the corners and the edges of the image to counteract that. So instead of adding a vignette by dragging the slider to the left, I'm going to add a white vignette by dragging it to the right just a little bit. So plus five is good. You want this to be a subtle effect, but it helps to brighten up the overall image. Next, I'm going to make a small tweak to the main light so it's not quite so blown out. So I'm going to come up to my radial filter and I'm going to click and drag a circle shape. And this is going to act as our mask and I'll make sure it's centered here. And all I'm going to do is bring the exposure down a tiny bit, maybe 0.25. And that will just darken the light. That way we can see it better and it matches the environment a little bit better. Lastly, I'm gonna come into the transform panel and we're gonna use the guided button to straighten this out. So you click the guided button and it tells you draw two or more guides to customize perspective corrections. So what we're gonna do is find two vertical lines, one on the left and one on the right and draw our lines. And then Lightroom is automatically gonna straighten our image. You wanna choose lines closest to the edges that way when it corrects the distortion, everything in between those lines is most accurate. So I'm gonna use this line on the lockers here and just click and drag and release. And then I'm gonna use this vertical line on the mirror. So I'll click and drag and release. And you can see that Lightroom does a really good job of straightening our image based on those lines. 
So again, here's the before and the after. It's a really big difference. That's it for now, guys. If you liked the video, make sure you subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know what you want to learn next in the comments. Your feedback is how we create new content, so it's really helpful. I'm JT Shaver for New Layer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.